was uh, certain communal forces that were uh, stirring up this whole pot without anyone seeing the painting they were objecting to it. Okay. And that's happening mm, everywhere very sad. today. Very sad. Namaskar Anjali ji, thank you very much for sparing your precious time. We in the Spikmake are completing 40 years of our journey. How do you think it has impacted the youth of today? Well, I think that it's extremely has been an extremely important movement for the youth of today, and especially because its footprint is now so large. I mean, you had over 2,000 uh, concerts just this year, yes. and that is that's completely amazing. Uh, from where Spikmake started, I remember uh, that. Uh, I used to know people who knew Spick McKay at St. Xavier's in Bombay yeah. all those many years ago uh, where it had really started. And uh, I have been uh, very much with Spick McKay for the last 25 or nearly 30 years yeah. and I have followed its progress uh, with great interest. Spick McKay has come such a long way, uh, being first a, a small movement, uh, grown into a mammoth movement. Uh, of course, we are always, as it grows, we are always in need of support and funds. It's amazing that we struggle from year to year and somehow uh, it all works out. You have been a great supporter for the last so many years, almost 25 years. I remember in Calcutta you uh, donated a crow which we came back to Delhi and sold. And uh, later on you have been giving paintings almost every year which have raised a lot of funds. And uh, they have helped us out. My little bit uh, that when I am giving a demonstration uh, yeah. at Spick McKay, I usually leave the painting behind in the hope that it will sell at some point. The inside of the human body is as beautifully uh, arranged and packed. This can you imagine? There's no mic. Now can you hear? That's fine. Okay. Uh, the the organs of the uh, inside the human body are so well arranged. It's uh, really a work of art and uh, you don't ha have any hollow or empty spaces it's all beautifully packed so i started doing uh, this uh, uh, series of showing the open heart and i started this in germany when we were living there because i felt that uh, one never got to know people and i felt like sometimes opening up their chest to see is there a heart beating inside or are they just these very uh, formal sterile people who never become friendly it was and, old and yes. uh, raise <laughs> some funds uh -huh. raise some funds uh, for the movement it's just a drop in the ocean <laughs> no it helps it's it all helps. i can do but even uh, even even this year i think you you gave us i mean yes. gave us and one was sold recently one was yes. sold for a yes. couple, uh, lot of uh, money i think yes. a few lakhs um, so yes. that uh, helps us in uh, funding our performances yeah. that is no, but the funding is the least of it uh, I think uh, by magic the fun funding somehow <laughs> falls into place eventually. Mm -hmm. There are so many supporters and so many well-wishers of this great movement. Um, and it's really grown from strength to strength. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now I have to ask a personal question in the sense that how did you start your journey of art? You uh, went to uh, school and this school there was a teacher a Bengali teacher of art who encouraged you to pick up art and thereafter you went to JJ school and then of course Paris on a scholarship. Sushil Mukherjee when I was still only 14 years old uh, gave me oil paints to paint with and he's the one who persuaded my parents and me that I was fit to become an artist because at the age of 15, I sold my first painting to none other than Dr. Zakir Hussain, oh. who had come for a school function. <laughs> and he actually paid me 100 rupees for it, which was a huge amount of money in those days. Was he the president then? or uh, He was the vice president. vice president. He then. was the vice president. Yes. 
So I was encouraged right from the beginning. I went to JJ school for a while, but Sushil had taught me so much that JJ school was boring for me. Oh. And instead, my mm -hmm. parents insisted that I have some degree. So I did a degree in English literature from Delhi University, which I also liked right. very much. Uh, I think it gives you a broader vision yeah, uh, when true. you uh, learn literature and history and psychology and all those subjects. I think I was lucky that I did that as yeah. well as art. And then I went to the Beaux-Arts in Paris. Ah. I had a scholarship. Uh, it was a meager scholarship. We didn't get very much, but it was enough uh, for me to go to the uh, fresco uh, atelier at the Ecole des Beaux Arts right, right. and learn how to be a frescist. Uh, you have painted crows. You have painted windows, and you have painted religious pictures also. These keep coming again and again. These themes. That is how uh, it happens in your uh, paintings. That's the crow. Now I have a story about the crow. Often people ask me, why do you paint so many crows? But when I lived in Bombay, on the uh, balcony where I used to paint, this particular crow used to come every day. And he used to look at me and he said, I want to be in the painting. And so one day he jumped into the painting and he's been there ever since. And especially when I go to Bombay, I start painting these crows again. But to me, the f crow is not an evil uh, object. Like some people say it's, it, the, it's not auspicious to have a crow. But to me, he's a very intelligent, almost human bird. Uh, these are very, very much my favorite themes. And uh, I also have to, you know, it's not so easy to paint in front of an audience. Yes. I know some painters love to do it. Uh, M. F. Hussein Who's used to love it? Yes. painting yes. in front of a big audience. Uh, I'm a little reticent about it. And it's difficult to be speaking at the same time and painting. So the paintings that are done for Spick McKay on the stage are a little different from my uh, yes, usual paintings. Mm -hmm. Uh, for one thing, I usually do it in acrylic because acrylic right. paint dries fast, whereas my normal medium is oils. Yeah, that's true. I took that crow, yeah. yes. which you did in acrylic. Yeah. Yes. It was still wet. Yes. And but I brought it to Delhi. You safely. And we sold it. We saved it. <laughs> <laughs> you also painted Christ in a different manner, different from what the Western uh, people uh, paint, Western painters paint. I'm not religious, but I find that uh, uh, most religions have uh, been the bedrock of beautiful art. I mean, whether it's Hinduism or whether it's Buddhism, yes. the great Buddhist caves and paintings and yes. Ajanta and Elora, That's right. uh, and of course, uh, the flowering of uh, Hindu iconography True. Uh, has been so important. So my interest in religion is more aesthetic than yeah, religious that's true. That's true. and I think the aesthetics of uh, all religions uh, provide museum quality imagery. True. But you are using it metaphorically basically yes, yes. because time and again mother and child again, yes. your own family, yes. I've seen a portrait in which you are there and your husband, yes. Admiral uh, Manon is there. Yes. Both your children are there yes, always. and they are standing there, it's some yeah. sort of a yeah. beautiful painting it, yeah. uh, it makes. Yeah. Yeah. Then time and again you also have been painting your husband Yes. and I find it to be some sort of a uh, sort of a Christ-like figure, figure with yeah, long beard, he's got a beard, beard and, and, he's and, and hardly any hair on the, on the top. Yeah, but he has these very <laughs> beautiful uh, yes, deep uh, eyes. Very deep and eyes. And I think very the eyes are what eyes. I paint. Yes. Uh, so uh, he uh, appears occasionally in the paintings. Yeah. My children appear, my sisters appear. I think uh, your mother also. My mother too. Mother yes. appears. Yes. Then in uh, JJ, I, I, I heard you talking mm. in one of the interviews yes. that in the JJ School of Art, mm. you had an old lady mm. who was acting as your model yeah or model for all the most of the painters yeah. there. the nude model nude model and nude she model. was a drunkard poor thing mm -hmm. and she would fall off the stool <laughs> and then the boys would get up and give her another swig of uh, <laughs> rum, or whatever. rum or whatever they were giving her and then she'd sit again for a little while and then mm. she'd topple over and fall down again right but uh, mm. we learnt a lot uh, from mm. the anatomy by right, painting right, her right. and there was a male model as well Mm -hmm. uh, then when I went to France, I used to go to a, a drawing class in the evenings right. where we had nude models. Right, uh, right, right. One looked very much like a Roman emperor. 
mm. uh, and he used to model in the nude in various Roman right, poses. Right. Yeah. Then you have painted a few nudes which are quite subtle. They are muted. They are not like the ones which are painted by Souza or Lakshma, uh, God. They are very uh, in the face. They are very, very exaggerated. I've had many battles with Souza. Oh, I see. And mm -hmm. I said that uh, the difference is that I love women. Mm -hmm. I love my sisters. I yes, love my yes. aunts. I love all the women in my life. Whereas he had a love-hate relationship with two things. With oh, one was with the church and mm -hmm. one was with women. Women. And he loved them and he hated them. Oh, and I he see. sometimes exposed them in a very uh, nasty way, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, Exaggerating the yes, that's right. uh, the figure, genitals. even the you know frontal and yes. whatever. Yeah. Uh, now, once you sit on a in front of a canvas, do you have some theme in your mind? Uh, I don't really come prepared, but sometimes there is a theme that I happen to be working on. So I, I will see. do several paintings on that theme, right. whether it is now the Divine Mothers, Correct. Um, or whether it was the windows or whether it was the chairs mm -hmm. or whether it was the painted furniture mm -hmm. uh, so it's always uh, that i'm doing something serially uh, yeah and i don't come with a preconceived <laughs> notion but it's sometimes i paint within that theme that happens to be uh, current In, at the moment on, yeah. yeah like the open heart series mm -hmm. yeah that's uh, right we just yes. saw the yes. presentation there now what what are your views on your contemporaries? There is Arpita Singh and there is Nilima Sheikh. I don't know Nilima very well because Ahmedabad based, she's Ahmedabad. She was Ahmedabad based. I think they are living here now. Mm -hmm. But I've had a very cordial relationship with them. Right. I admire their work. Mm -hmm. uh, I admire particularly Arpita's and. Uh, 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 um, Mrs. Sood, uh, uh -huh. I like her work mm -hmm. very, very much. Uh, what about the younger Arpana generation? Kaur is also Arpana a very good, very good friend. The younger she's generation, younger. there's the younger younger generation, there's Nupur Kundu. Uh, and Anamika, there's, there's somebody called Anamika? I don't know Anamika, achha, achha, no. Okay. But there's Vimi Indra uh -huh. and there is uh, Nupur Kundu. Right. Uh, so many of the younger artists mm -hmm. uh, whom I admire. Uh, the Did art, I, uh, uh, art basically has to be autonomous. Yes. But today I find there is not much of uh, freedom of expression as such. Oh, there's more freedom of expression than ever before. Uh, everything is grist for the mill now. Any form of art is accepted. You can cover yourself in paint and roll on a canvas. <laughs> that's also accepted. Um, and there's conceptual art, there is so many installations. Uh, the whole canvas has broadened so much that everything is, in, it's all inclusive now. Yeah, but then so, I was actually uh, hinting at or I was mm, meaning mm, to say about mm, Hussain Saab. Mm, why he had to leave uh, India? I don't Live know. in exile. That was so That is terrible. lack of tolerance probably. That was Maybe lack of intolerance. Tolerance. Intolerance. No, if I had painted those same paintings, I think nobody would have objected. Oh, yes. I, I think it became a communal thing. Yeah, more It became uh, mm -hmm. uh, very sadly so. He, 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 he painted most of the religious, you know, yeah. Ram. I think nobody has Sita. painted the whole Ramayana ah. or Mahabharat the way that Bilkul, Hussein has Radha done. Radha and Krishna. Yeah. So All that he painted, Hanuman, that was beautiful painting. I Hanuman. supported uh, Hussein. He was my mentor and great right. friend. Mm -hmm. And over the years, I spoke very eloquently. Sometimes I think uh, in his defence. But I'll tell you one thing: certain painting that had caused a lot of uh, hangama here. Mm -hmm. I asked that audience uh, on NDTV, which of you have seen that painting? Not one hand went up. So it was. Uh, certain communal forces that were uh, stirring up this whole pot without anyone seeing the painting they were objecting to it. Oh, gee. And that's happening mm, everywhere very today. Sad. Very sad. That's, that's very happening sad. in mm. whether where so you talk fears. of Gai Rakshak yes. or anything. Yes, the people who have no uh, business to be poking their nose are uh, yes. now getting up and being so vocal. Yeah. Your Yatra series has been acquired by 
uh, Asian Art Museum in San Francisco. You must be feeling proud. You must be feeling fulfilled because it's a great achievement. And they have been uh, acquired by various museums as well as they are exhibited in various uh, galleries. Many years ago, I decided to take up the to take up or to try, attempt to take the path of Karma Yogi uh, rather than I don't worship, I do not uh, believe in idol worship, I do not go to temples, but I try to practice Karma Yoga, right. which means that you must not be shaken by either criticism or praise and you must not be attached to the fruits of your work. We, as they call karman neva dhikaraste. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so, so I try to do that now. I have a very successful exhibition in New yes, York, but yes. I came back mm -hmm. and I came back and got into my own everyday domestic routine. Right. It's not that I'm crowing over <laughs> it or that I'm so uh, thrilled or happy. Right. It's good that it went off well, yeah. but uh, I do not uh, attach myself. I try not to attach myself <laughs> to the fruits mm -hmm. of my labor. Yeah, but then you see, an artist would certainly like to be appreciated. Well, I have been appreciated. I've also been. I've also been. I've also been criticized. Awarded. I've been awarded. Yes, mm -hmm. and that has been a uh. big honour. Uh, but I'm always actually I'm always surprised when somebody awards me or <laughs> you appreciates me. You have been given me. Padma Shri and you have been <laughs> awarded Lifetime Achievement Award by our own government in Delhi. Yeah, and the French. And so many other awards, French award. Uh, yes. So many other awards all over the world. You have also painted murals. You have done murals in Delhi, Delhi IJI airport, same at Bombay airport. Yeah. It must be a difficult thing because you have to yes. go to little height. Yeah, and you have to go to a height. Feet, when I was doing the new uh, paintings for the Bombay airport, I was climbing 20 foot <laughs> scaffolding oh. uh, and climbing on ladders dangerous. and so on. <laughs> People said at your age you should not be, you should doing, be doing this. this. but. Uh, where there's a will, there's a way, and yeah, I think uh, right. that if you're very absorbed in that painting, mm -hmm. you don't think about the dangers yeah. of climbing those yeah. tall ladders and yeah. balancing on the scaffoldings. Uh, yes. How many how many panels uh, do you generally have in a? That uh, now there are eight panels in the Bombay airport. I see. And they have been blown up to very large size. One of them is ten feet. Oh. Uh, Yes. And one of your paintings which were there in the older um, airport here yes, yes. has been taken over by MEA yes, and it yes, finds a yes, place in yes. their office somewhere. Yes. In That's the right. banquet hall. Banquet hall. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. In their mess banquet hall. Or wherever the they are. Banquet hall where they no CSOI, where they DSOI, no, no, they no, no 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 no. The hmm. MEA's banquet hall is where they entertain the foreign. Oh, uh, that is that is Hyderabad. Hyderabad house. No, is it? Uh, in the new MEA building. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. They entertain foreign dignitaries hmm, there. Also. Yeah. Hmm. Is painting also akin or like learning music? or dance, you have to do a lot of riyas, you have to do a lot of practice and sadhana. And nobody understands how important riyas is as part of painting because you can be taught the hand and the eye, but you cannot be taught the mind because right. the mind is what generates uh, the imagery, Quite the right. mind is what grasps hold of the inspiration uh, and makes it happen. True. Uh, on, on canvas. Mm -hmm. So there's a big gap between knowing how to draw or knowing how to paint and actually making a successful painting. Do you think there should be more interaction between various types of arts, say literature? And, well, uh, I your, think uh, in the time, theater. in the years when I was in uh, France, I think I was much more influenced by films than I was by art. Oh, I see. Uh, I saw all the early films. I joined this, what is called the Cinematheque in Paris, right. where I saw 90 films in one month, three oh. films a day. <laughs> I used to be cross-eyed watching these films with my friend Shama Zaidi, who's a yeah, yeah. She's uh, now film, writing film. scripts for she writes uh, scripts Sham for Sham, Sham and for Benigal Satyu. Other also. Yes. But she left painting. She was not a painter. I she see. was she studying with the Berlina Ensemble. Oh, I see. But Shama okay. and I, we did all, all this hitchhiking. We did together. Right. And. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So we were very influenced by films, by the early films of Bergman and Pudovkin. They also and, there uh, together. Yes, mm. yes. There is some sort of a, uh, shall we say, 
intolerance, hmm. friction, hmm. there's a lot of tension going on between countries and countries, nations. Hmm. Can the exchange of artists hmm. and interaction with people to people hmm. help in reducing these uh, tensions and intolerance? Absolutely. I think, uh, uh, for instance, in India, we should not uh, downgrade the uh, power of uh, soft power. You yes, know? yes. And we have the means to project a soft power all over the world, uh, whether it's in our dance, in our music, in our art. Uh, in fact, I have curated a big exhibition for the ICCR I see. Uh, of Indian artists to be sent around the world. These are big prints, mm -hmm. uh, big canvas prints of okay. very famous uh, painters such as Hossein and Hosuza mm -hmm. and uh, Tayyab. Okay. And uh, these are circulating around the world mm -hmm. uh, because I think it's very important that we uh, exercise our soft power, yes. which we have at our fingertips. And uh, I don't think that you can underestimate the, the value of that soft power. Mm -hmm. Now this brings me to another uh, painter, mm -hmm. Raza, who ah. recently passed away. Yes. Very, very revered yeah. yes. and a wonderful uh, mm -hmm. painter he mm -hmm. was. But he lived, I think, 90% of his life in uh, Paris. Paris. Yes. Then toward the end of his life, mm -hmm. he wanted to come back and he came to Delhi. Mm -hmm. And he was your neighbor in Nizamuddin or uh, somewhere there? No, no, no. He no. wasn't your neighbor? He, he lived, uh, finally he lived in, uh, I think it was uh, Saftajah Enclave. Yeah, yeah, Enclave. But it was a, just in time they brought him he, back uh, because he was by that time in very poor pretty health. Bad. Uh, he was probably his, finally. Uh, ever since his wife died, Janine was a good friend yeah. of mine. Okay. And uh, she appreciated my work. She always mm -hmm. came to my opening exhibitions. And so did he. But uh, in his old age, it was good that he came back to India, yes. to his roots, roots and yeah. to be looked after. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend Ashok Vajpayee looked after him. And his uh, Raza whole, Foundation, Raza has been Foundation established. and all his mm. uh, chelas from uh, Bhopal, they really looked after him in Pushkar, his old age. Uh, yes. Pushkale? Manish Pushk Pushkale Manish is the one Pushkale who now uh, there were many the disciple, of them. one of the disciples who was looking after him. There were many of them who foundation. really looked after him in his mm. old age. But he was productive to the end and yes. uh, continued to be a very inspiring yes. person. But his bindu has been really uh, something innovative. Yes. And where he has most of his paintings uh, have that in a central yes, theme. Yes, absolutely. And then uh, around that there are various geometrical figures. Could yes. be a triangle, it could be yes. a rectangle. Yeah. So you have you done any geometrical figures? No, I have never been an abstract painter, mm -hmm. or hardly ever. Mm -hmm. I did some Buddhist ab abstractions right, right. Uh, during one phase of my work. But generally I have been a figurative painter because for me I feel that living in India you cannot avoid the figure. Mm -hmm. uh, we are so populated, True. we are so surrounded by people and it's people who really speak to me into my heart. So. Uh, like your studio being in uh, Nizamuddin yeah, Basti yeah, and yeah. you see goats and yes. you see all people the people there are my friends, rickshaws. yes, and all the people in my uh, uh, locality, in my little mohalla, they are all my friends mm -hmm. and uh, they come from all walks of life. There are both Hindus and Muslims, there's a whole Dalit community who are municipal sweepers, Right. but they are my all my friends, mm -hmm. I know their names, I, s okay. I go to all their festivals. I have the children all, I'm called in the whole Basti, I'm called Dadiji <laughs> by the children. <laughs> How so much I'm, time do you spend in your studio? I go every, every day, day. Every, every day. day I must go religiously. to the studio, religiously. Like yes. Riyaz, yes. sadhana, yes. you have to it's be there. Sadhana. Sometimes mm. it's painting time, sometimes it's just thinking time. Right. But I need that okay. exclusive time, time in yourself. the studio. Now we come to your personal life. You got married to an, a naval officer and who was moving from place to place and city to city, town to town, countries to countries. At the time of your marriage, uh, what was his rank? Oh. Thirty times I changed house. You see, are you, uh, I know you are aware that I'm an ex <laughs> yes, Air Force officer. Yes, I know, I know that. So in 32 years of my service, uh, I moved 21 times, less yes. than you. Yes, but we lived in uh, yes. one room apartments, yes. single room, and also and big bungalows. Wonderful bangalows. bungalows, bangalows. yes. This is so what we has lived happened. in uh, Iskoid in uh, Wellington, which is the most beautiful uh -huh. house I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a 
200 year old house and it had mud walls yeah, and it was magnificent. True. We lived in a very nice house in Germany, mm -hmm. but we've lived in one room tenements as well. Uh, our years in Russia, we yeah. spent just in two tiny little rooms with two children. <laughs> uh, and I used to paint under a staircase oh. in a broom cupboard. Oh, I see. And even there I produced an uh, exhibition. Yeah, exhibitions. Yes. But he was a, basically a submarine, submarine uh, uh, person. Yes. So we spent and a lot of time. he was going uh, place to place, country to country. Where <laughs> were you that time? Were you in India? Were you going to no, ports? I, I went, like Kochi and no, I went Mumbai, to Goa. Vladivostok. Well, I went Vladivostok. to Vladivostok long, and I stayed time? there for two years mm -hmm. uh, in those two rooms. Oh, I see. And painting under the staircase. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to, we spent over seven or eight years in Vishakhapatnam. Mm -hmm. And then we were in Germany. So, England. <laughs> what was your rank when you got married? Uh, he was a sub lieutenant. Sub -lieutenant. He wasn't even a lieutenant. First, first rank. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got married as a flying officer. Yeah, we were so very my, young. my pay was 450 rupees. Yes, so, so was his. <laughs> okay. His pay was 450 rupees right. too. Uh -huh. yeah, that we is how we managed. That. And we didn't, we weren't entitled to accommodation because he was not yet 25. 25, yes. And so we spent mm -hmm. 200 rupees on a room. Renting. And we were lived on 250 rupees. Oh my God. <laughs> Luckily, I got married yes. later at 27, yes. so yeah. that wasn't a problem. No, we were very young. So those are the memories. But you yes. have been painting him also beautifully. His face, using yes. his face yes. so many times. Well, he has a handsome it's, face. It's very nice. <laughs> uh, I met him he's, so many times in IIC and all. Good looking man. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> This year we have uh, made a souvenir in which your painting has been figured. So we are very grateful for that. Yes. Uh, it's a beautiful painting. I think uh, some of your face is uh, resembling your, uh, your husband. Maybe, a bit of it. Maybe a bit. Uh, but there's no yes. beard, of course, without no beard. beard. Yeah. 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 So that is another good thing. Yeah. Finally, uh, uh, what Actually, I was very be? lucky in my youth. Uh, I was able to listen to all the great singers right. and performers. I, uh, this may have been inspired by my those. concerts at, uh, with uh, Lal Guli Jairaman. Okay. And I've heard Bade Gulam Ali Khan mm -hmm. Saab, and so many other great right. musicians and dancers. Mm -hmm. uh, because from my college days, which was in 1957, we, uh, three of us girls were asked to be the ushers oh, at uh, Sapru House and all the oh, concerts, those days it was Sapru House all the concerts ah, were held there. Else. So we have heard all the greats uh, mm. and grown up with the classical music. Very good, that's very nice. Yes. Well, yes. That is why uh, Subalakshmi we have heard, mm, Pattamal we have heard. I know. All it comes to you naturally to yes. support a mission yes. like that of uh, yeah. Speak Mac. It's a brilliant mission. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant uh, and the work mm. that they're doing. It. We thank you once again. Is there any uh, thing that you want to tell to the young volunteers of Speak Mac? Would you like wonderful. to say something to the young people who are yes, volunteers? Yes, young people uh, who are volunteers, they're doing a great job. Because as I said, this is the onslaught of Bollywood and Hollywood uh, on the youth of India. And if there can be something that balances that out and people just get even a glimpse of their own culture, That's uh, of, of their own ancient culture, I think uh, out of all the children who are benefited by uh, these concerts, I think at least 40 to 50 percent will continue to uh, support and to listen to good music mm -hmm. right. uh, and learn how to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Anjali ji, we thank you once again for sparing your time. You're welcome. And you have been very kind to us. You have spared some time for us. No, I Thank feel you once again. You shouldn't say us because I also <laughs> feel part of that us. Uh, I'm very much part of Speak Thank you so much for that. And have always Thank been. You. Thank you very much. Hi friends, welcome to my channel Dragons. I've created this channel to bring best of creative content to you like films, poetry and delve deeper into different forms of art and music. Please support this creative venture. Please like and share and subscribe my channel Dragons.